Hello friends, welcome to the Physica Society. So in this video we are going to discuss about one year calipers. This is a device which was actually invented to improve the accuracy of length measurements. So as you can see in the image, there is a simple or you may say a general scale that we generally use for our length measurements is given. So in this scale as you can see the least count the smallest length that you can measure is one millimeter so the smallest length that can be measured from this general scale is one millimeter so as the science improved or you may say the technology improved with the time so our length measurement measurements needed to be more accurate like maybe 10th part of a millimeter 10th part of a millimeter is 0 0.1 millimeter so with this device you can measure the length with an accuracy of up to 10th part of a millimeter or also after some time when many new vernier calipers came into existence and with these verniers you can measure up to hundredth part hundredth part of a millimeter that you may say point zero one millimeter <coughs> so how does a vernier looks like so let us first discuss how a vernier looks like and what are its parts known as so so as you can see there are jaws on the upper and lower side of the vernier caliper so this scale this is a main scale in the vernier calipers this scale is as this is same to our general scale like the gradings on the main scale are in millimeters. The smallest distance that you can measure using a main scale is one millimeter. But on the vernier scale, every division is of approximately smaller length, maybe 0.9 millimeters or maybe 0.98 millimeters or maybe 0.9. 99 millimeters so how is this done we will discuss this later but in this part let us discuss about the parts of the vernier caliper so the first part as you can see the upper jaws these jaws are used to measure the internal diameter or you may say the internal length of any object then lower jaws are used to measure the external diameter or thickness of any object and this is the slidable part of our vernier scale vernier calipers this one and this one okay the upper on the upper side this part can move and the lower side this part can move and this is a fixed scale a general scale on the right side you can see the depth probe using this we can measure the depth of any object and these two screws are given so that suppose you measure some object and you want to fix that location of this slidable part so you can tighten these screws okay so that your reading, reading does not change with any motion okay so now let us see how to take the readings with the vernier scale so this is how we make use of a vernier scale in this case as you can see the external diameter of a rim on the car of the car is being measured okay this is how we use a vernier scale and in this case as you can see the internal diameter of an object is being measured using the upper jaws so let us move on to the basics of our vernier scale so 
So how does the vernier works? So in a vernier scale, as you can see, on a vernier, this is a main scale. Suppose this has a markings at a distance of one millimeter. Okay, and on the lower side there is a vernier scale like this. So on a vernier scale, as you can see, nine millimeters. So the nine parts of the main scale, you may say nine millimeters, is divided into ten parts for a no for the simplest vernier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and nine, and ten. So this is like coinciding. So from here to here, there are ten parts, or you may say ten gradings. On the upper side, this is zero, and this is one centimeter, or you may say ten millimeters. So as you can see, the upper scale is a fixed scale. So the upper scale is a fixed scale. When you will slide the lower part, you may, you can say when you will move the vernier scale, this zero. Suppose this zero is moved a little bit right. So our first reading on the vernier will coincide with the first reading of the main scale. So the least distance that can be measured using a vernier is this much distance. The difference between the first part of the vernier scale and the first part of the main scale. So I am drawing this diagram like this. Okay, this is one millimeter, and this is zero point nine millimeters because nine millimeters are divided into ten parts. So one part is equal to nine by ten. So that will be zero point. Nine millimeters. <clears throat> so this is the least distance that can be measured. So this distance is equal to one millimeter minus zero point nine millimeters, or you may say one main scale division minus one vernier scale division. So this is zero point one millimeters. <clears throat> so when you will slide this vernier scale. So the least distance that can be measured is 0.1 millimeters. Suppose our fourth reading on the vernier is coinciding with any of the upper division. So it means we have moved four steps, and our one step is equal to 0.1 millimeters. So we have covered a distance of 0.4 millimeters in that case. So how to use a vernier scale? Let us see. So in this case, as you can see, there is a vernier calipers by which we are measuring some, maybe external or maybe internal diameter. So this distance that we are measuring, suppose this is our x. So how to calculate this x? So as you can see from the main scale, so this is our main scale: zero, one, two, three, four, and this is five. So before five, there should be four. So zero of the vernier is lying just after four point five. So our main from our main scale, as we can see, our main scale reading. So at least we have moved a distance of four point five centimeters using a main scale, or you may say forty five millimeters. But also, there is a distance. Small distance between 4.5 and 4.6 that we will measure using the vernier scale. And as you can see, the seventh reading of the vernier scale is exactly coinciding with the main scale divisions. So our vernier scale reading is equal to seven steps, and one step is equal to 0.1 millimeters. So our vernier scale reading is 0.7 millimeters. I am using this least count directly here because, as I know, I can see from the vernier calipers that 
नाइन मिलीमीटर आर डिवाइडेड इन टू टेन इक्वल पार्ट देर आर मेनी काइंड ऑफ वर्नियर स्केल सो यू मस्ट टेक केयर दैट विच काइंड ऑफ वर्नियर यू आर यूज इन सो दिस इज आर रीडिंग सो लेट अस कैलकुलेट आवर टोटल रीडिंग दैट इज एक्स शुड बी इक्वल टू मेन स्केल फ्रॉम मेन स्केल वी कैन टेल दैट ऑब्जेक्ट इज एट लाइस्ट एट लीस्ट फोर्टी फाइव मिलीमीटर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन मिलीमीटर इन लेंथ सो द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन मिलीमीटर और यू मे से फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सेंटीमीटर सो दिस इज हाउ वी यूज अ वर्नियर कैलिपर्स हो इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट लेट एस and another kind of vernier calipers in this vernier calipers as you can see the zero of the vernier scale is coinciding with 1.5 cm and the tenth grading on the vernier is coinciding with 6.4 cm so you can easily say that our as you can see from the vernier scale there are from 0 to 1 there are five parts so there are total 10 gradings it means there are 50 parts so 50 vernier scale divisions 50 vernier scale divisions are equal to 1.5 cm here and 6.4 cm here it means there are total 49 parts here okay so 49 Main scale divisions are equal to 50 vernier scale divisions. It means in this case, one vernier scale division is equal to 49 by 50 main scale divisions. And the main scale is always a general scale. It means the least count of this scale is 0.1 millimeters. So 49 by 50 into 0.1 millimeters. Sorry, one millimeter. One millimeter. So when you will divide forty nine by fifty, you are going to get zero point nine eight into one will be point nine eight again. Point nine eight mm. So our one vernier scale division is of length point nine eight millimeters. So as we have calculated earlier. our least count of a vernier scale vernier calipers is given as one main scale division minus one vernier scale division the concept is same as the last okay so in this case one msd is equal to 1 mm and one vsd is equal to 0.98 mm so we can easily tell that our least count is going to be 0.02 mm so in the last case as you have seen a simple vernier can take a reading up to 10th part of a millimeter but in this case we can take reading up to 50th part of a millimeter so we can divide 1 mm into 50 parts by using this vernier scale okay the readings the main readings will be taken similar to the last case so let us see how to use this we have calculated the least count so suppose this zero was not coinciding suppose you are measuring something and this zero is not coinciding here this is lying somewhat where between 2 and 2.1 2 and 2.1 so in that case your main scale reading would be 2.2.0 centimeters, or you may say 20 millimeters. So, also suppose that our 67th, there are total 50 parts. So it means suppose that is 34th reading on the vernier is coinciding with any of the upper. calibrations so 34 into least count of this vernier calipers is 0.02 it means our 
we have moved 34 steps on the vernier scale and each step is of 0.02 millimeters so the total reading would be zero so the vernier scale reading would be 34 into 2248 and 23 is 6.68 millimeters so our total reading in that case would be 20 millimeters plus 0.68 millimeter so <clears throat> our total reading is going to be 20.68 millimeters so this is how we use a vernier calipers there is also an image of a digital vernier caliper so as you can see this is going to be very easy to use because you don't have to calculate any list count or do any calculations you just have to switch it on and use any object that you want to measure okay suppose you want to measure the internal diameter of this pen and you just adjusted this pen and you slide it the vernier and you will get a reading like this so as you can see the reading here is given 18.89 millimeters 18.89 millimeters so obviously its least count would be somewhat between 0 0.02 or maybe 0.01 one okay so let us move on to an another thing here here is a question and this question was actually asked in iit in j 2016 and now someone who is watching may be saying that you have written this j e in the short in the small letters actually j e v okay this was this is an exam conducted in india for the engineering entrance so <clears throat> so as you can see in the c1 in the first case you have to tell, tell that what is the reading of the object of the length that you have measured so let us first see what is the least count of the upper vernier calipers. So, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 10 parts are there, and these 10 parts are equal to how much length? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and one more part when you will slide this, this will be coinciding with this. So, you may say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 parts are divided into 10 parts. So, 9 main scale divisions are equal to 10 main scale divisions in the first case. So, 10 vernier scale divisions. Okay, so it means our one vernier scale division was equal to 0 0.9 millimeters or you may say the least count in that case would be 0 0.1 millimeter. Because one main scale division is 1 millimeter and minus 0 0.9 will give out to you 0 0.1 millimeter. So, in that case, your main scale reading, your zero of the vernier is lying between 2.8 and 2.9. So, it means your main scale reading, I am reading this x, total reading is x. So, the main scale reading is 2.8 centimeters. I prefer to use this in millimeters, okay. So, this is 28 millimeters plus now you can see from the question that seventh reading on the vernier calipers, vernier scale is coinciding with the main scale readings. So, it means you have moved seven steps and each step is of length 0.1 millimeter. So, your total length would be 28.7 millimeters. So this is a very simple case as you can see now let us move on to the second part c2 so let us see what is different in this case so in this case as you can see on the main scale let us see first on the main scale 
when you will move this 0 to the left, this will coincide with 2.8. It means 1 division of the main scale, 2 division, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, 10 main scale divisions are equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. That cannot be true. Let us count this again. Suppose we move this a little bit right on the 2.9. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and this 10 will move to the 4. So it means 10, 10 vernier scale divisions. 10 vernier scale divisions are equal to 11 main scale divisions in this case. So this is a quite different case. Because usually we find that a vernier scale division has a length shorter than the main scale division and that difference counts our least count. Okay. So in this case, the situation is somewhat different. We are going to measure this length. And this length means 2.8, suppose this is our 2.8 here. And we want to measure, suppose this is 2.8 and this is where the 0 of the main vernier scale is lying. This is 2.9 and this would be 3, 3.1, 3.2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So as you can see, 6th reading of the vernier is coinciding. So, with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th reading of the main scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it means 6th reading of the vernier is coinciding with the 5th reading of the main scale. So, 0. And 1 would be somewhat here before 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is somewhat 6. So, 2.8 plus this extra length that we have to measure here. So, our net reading x is, sorry, x is going to be 2.8 plus, let us suppose this small length be y, okay. 2.8 plus y. Then, so as you can see from both of the scales, let us draw a line here and let us draw an another line. Sorry, this line is actually passing from here. Okay. So from the main scale, you can see that this length, this length is going to be 2.8 up to this 3.5 okay 2.8 to 3.5 it means there are total seven divisions here seven parts any yani seven millimeters minus x so this length is seven minus x here and from the vernier scale this length is equal to six parts because six division is exactly coinciding and each from here you can see that one vernier scale division is equal to 11 by 10 main scale divisions and one main scale division is always equal to 1 millimeter. So, it means our one vernier scale division in this case is 1.1 millimeter. So, 6 into every division is of length 1.1 millimeters. So, our this length is equal to 6.6 .6 millimeters. But according to the above main scale, this reading this should be equal to 7 minus x. So, 7 minus x should be equal to 6.6 .6 because both lengths are same. So, from here you can easily calculate the value of x that would come 7 minus 6.6 .6 and the value of x would be 0 0.4 millimeters. So, now the question is solved. This part we have got, sorry, this is y, this is y. So, the value of y here is 0.4. It means our total reading would be 2.8 millimeters centimeters plus 0.4 millimeters. So, you cannot add 
centimeters and millimeters. So either convert this into millimeters or convert this into centimeters. So let us convert this into centimeters. This would be 0 0.04. So the answer would be 2.84 centimeters. <coughs> Okay, and why cannot we use directly least count here? Because if you will count a least count, you will find a least count from these. You will get a least count of least count should be equal to 1 MST minus 1 VST. 1 VST. So obviously you are going to get 1 MST that is 1 millimeter minus 1.1 millimeter. 1 VST is 1.1 millimeter here. So your answer would be minus 0 0.1 millimeter, negative least count. Okay. So you cannot use this method here. So let us also discuss about zero error for a vernier calipers. So here are two diagrams you can see. So in the first case, as you can see, the zero of the vernier is behind the zero of the main scale. It means when you are at the initial position, zero of the main scale is not coinciding. Zero of the main scale is not coinciding with the zero of the vernier scale. It means you are already getting some reading when you are at the initial position. It means there is some error in the device. So, there are two kinds of errors, positive errors and negative errors. Positive errors and negative errors. So in case of positive error, you have to subtract that amount of error from the measured value. Okay. So suppose you are using this vernier scale, vernier calipers and obviously you are measuring this much less every time. Okay, because your zero is already on the left side. So, suppose you, so in this case, as you can see, the seventh reading of the vernier is coinciding with the main scale divisions. Okay, so it means our negative error is here. Why is this negative error? Because we have to add this much amount in the measured value. Okay, so seven and every step is of length 0.1 millimeter in this simple vernier scale. So it means 0.7 millimeters you have to add each time whenever you measure anything. Suppose you measure something and your reading is, suppose your reading is 7.4 millimeters. So of course, this is somewhat less than the actual value. This is your measured value. So the actual value should be equal to value should be equal to measured value plus I am directly writing this MV measured value plus error whatever is here negative error. So add this value. So our Reading that we measured is 7.4 millimeters and here is a negative error of 0.7 millimeter. So our actual value would be 1 and 8. 8.1 millimeters. Okay. In the second case, as you can see, first of all, have a look at the diagram clear clearly and then come to any conclusion. So in the second case, as you can see, our zero of the vernier is somewhat on the right of the zero of the main scale. It means you are measuring something extra every time. So you would have to subtract that amount. So what extra amount we are measuring every time? Let us see what is our error. So as you can see, sixth division of the vernier is coinciding with the main scale divisions. So it means our positive error here is in the second case is six steps we have already moved and each step is 0.1 millimeters of length. So it means 0.6 millimeters. 
so it means whatever we measure so our actual value should be equal to actual value should be equal to measured value minus our error whatever is our positive error suppose you measure something and your value comes out to be 13.6 millimeters and there is an error already in the device that is 0.6 millimeters so your actual reading should be 13 millimeters you cannot directly write 13 you must write 13.0 okay because this digit shows a significant position here okay because every time you are measuring you are suppose you are getting six here this six is a significant digit because we have this much accuracy in our device okay so you cannot directly write 13 here you have to write 13.0 millimeters okay i hope you like the video so if you like the video please subscribe and share our channel as much as you can thanks for watching